All right, so now you're going to put the cold air cooling on there. Okay. Um, you're in charge of that. One of the things that we find is that when the patient's in charge of the running the cold air, number one, they know exactly where they need the cold air. And number two, it's also very distracting. They're not thinking so much about the laser, but they're actually involved in the process. So we find that, that you know, getting them involved by handing them the end of the Zimmer hose, it really helps um, mitigate you know, pain and psychological concern about pain. So, all right, so we have, uh, have the setup. We're using the 1064. We're gonna do a test spot. We're gonna be try right here. Perpendicular to skin, three, two, one. How was that? I can handle that. Okay. So one of the things that's really interesting here is you'll see that we did, we're using the 1064 wavelength, but that 1064 on the outline where we'd expect um, was incredibly well absorbed, you know, the black outline of the palm tree. The inner part of the tree, which was filled with green, which would really be best absorbed by a 694 ruby wavelength, you can tell that it, you know, I mean, it's still almost untouched ink. And so that's the thing that's, you know, why it's so important to have multiple wavelengths when you're doing tattoo removal because you really need those multiple wavelengths to get all the colors of the ink. Okay? Now, what we did get is we, you know, we're going to try and we're going to go over the whole thing because um, we got the type of reaction we're looking for. We got a nice frosting, not too much you know, just a little bit of raised, uh, raised tissue, but that's really the sort of treatment that we're looking for. So what we're gonna do now is, you know, now that we've done one test spot, the patient survived, uh, we're gonna go back and we got the sort of treatment result that we're looking for. I'm gonna go back to 10 hertz or 10 pulses per second, and we're gonna try to go through this entire tattoo, you know, probably in less than a minute. Um, now what we're gonna see is there are gonna be areas that um, just like this, you know, frost up and get the perfect reaction. And then there's gonna be areas in between, like the red ink in between the yellow ink over here and some of the green ink in the palm tree that uh, we probably don't see quite the reaction. But again, this is her first treatment. And really what we're looking for is to peel back the layers of the onion, get that black ink out, get down to the purest inks of green, red, yellow. And then next time we'll uh, probably look at using different wavelengths. I'm going to try to not have as much overlap, so I'm going to move fast, you know, so uh, we don't have to do too many treatments. All right, you ready, Jesse? Yep. Three, two, one. How are we doing? Good. Painful? Yep. How was that? It hurt. It hurt, but. I'm good. but <laughs> I mean, the whole, the whole treatment was less less than a minute, and you can see, you know, I mean, really, really where we got a good result, where we got great, um, you could hear the snap, it frosted up, but not too much, and even though we went over this green ink in between, um, we didn't get much of a reaction. Now, what I could do is I could go back to um, our 694 wavelength, the ruby wavelength, and specifically get some of those green spots. Um, Again, because we didn't over-treat at this point in time, I'm probably comfortable doing that. Are you all right to yep. take a few more spots, okay? Uh, we're gonna go back and just hit some of these green areas here with the 694. Three, two, one. something down here on your ankle will take a little bit longer. Normally what we see is about the first four weeks, we don't see a whole lot of change. Um, and then in that four to six week segment, that's when we really start to see uh, some of those colors wash out in the body system, you know, just, you know, just takes that out. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things to talk with your patients, make sure that they know what to expect because uh, in the next couple days, they may think that nothing happened. Um, but again, four to, four to six weeks is when you really start to see uh, some changes. Now, from a, from a post-care uh, standpoint, um, we'll put some polysporin on this. Um, we don't want you to be in a hot tub um, tonight. We don't want you to be um, in the sun for the next few days. Um, you know, we, you know, one of the benefits of our technology is we have this, you know, the lenses and the optics in our OptiBeam technology that really allow us to give a good treatment 
without breaking the skin, but nonetheless, you, you, you have put laser energy into this. We want to treat it you know, carefully. Uh, when you do you know, shower or whatever, just pat it dry, don't rub it. Um, you will notice that it probably will itch. It's gonna feel maybe like a little bit like a sunburn for the next day or two. Maybe for the next week or so, it will itch. Um, don't scratch it. Um, and then, uh, you know, oftentimes people just to remind themselves, you know, if it's uh, itchy, you know, again, put some polysporin on it and just put a Band-Aid over it and that keeps people from scratching. All right.